As the Ayodhya hearing enters its last phase, the Muslim parties on Monday alleged before the Supreme Court that questions are asked only from them and not posed to the Hindu side. Senior advocate Rajiv Dhawan, who represents the Muslim parties, made the comment before the five-judge constitution bench headed by Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi. His remarks were vehemently opposed by the lawyer representing deity Ram Lalla, who said Dhawan's assertion was totally unwarranted. According to National Security Advisor Ajit Doval, Pakistan is under a lot of pressure at the Financial Action Task Force or FATF meeting currently underway in Paris. The FATF is an intergovernmental body established to combat money laundering and terrorist financing and other related threats to the integrity of the international financial system. The group so far had found many gaps in Islamabad's efforts to arrest the flow of finances to terrorist groups. Doval said the proceedings of the FATF have created created so much pressure that probably no other action could have done the same. Passenger vehicle hold sales in India declined for the 11th consecutive month in September as the onset of the festive season failed to lift buyer sentiment as was hoped. According to the latest data by Siam, passenger vehicle sales during September dropped by over 23% compared to last year, clocking in at just over 2.23 lakh units. Shares of Adani Gas surged after the company said that French energy giant Total would buy a 37.4% stake in the Indian gas distribution company. Total will launch an open offer to buy up to 25% in Adani Gas from public shareholders at just over 149 per share, valuing the stake at 4,147 crores. The French company will also buy the remaining 12% from the Adani family, according to a statement. The government's plan to privatise Bharat Petroleum Corporation or BPCL is likely to also clear the decks for ONGC to bring in a strategic private or foreign partner in its subsidiary HPCL. A core group of secretaries on disinvestment has reportedly given its nod to sell all of the government's 53% stake in BPCL. According to sources, the government is working on a cabinet note for BPCL stake sale and the matter is likely to be taken up by the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs very soon. From being appointed as the Indian captain after the infamous match-fixing saga in 2000, Saurav Ganguly finds himself in a similar situation just 19 years later. It might not be as grave as match fixing, but the Indian cricket administration, according to Dada, is in a turmoil. For the last three years, um, as you all know, as I said, it was a type of an emergency situation, and hopefully, uh, it's going to be normal and smooth functioning from here now on. The former India captain, though, was in full praise of Team India, but feels the need to strengthen grassroots cricket further. For me, my biggest uh, focus will be first class cricket. I have written many a times in the last three years that the remunerations need to increase and increase manifold. While many consider Dada as a newcomer in cricket administration, some felt that he is the best man for the top job in Indian cricket. Uh, I have spent almost six years now in, in, in cricket administration and so experience was one of the key factors in deciding who would take uh, this administration forward in a very crucial juncture because, as I said, the house needs to be set in order. His tenure might be limited to 10 months due to the mandatory cooling-off period as per BCCI's new constitution, but his plate seems to be already full. We will have to take care of it because we've not received any money for the last three or four years from the ICC. And money in the sense, uh, what we should deserve because India, India generates 70, 75 to 80 percent of the revenue and discussions need to happen and we need to find a solution to this. Dada is known to be the firebrand cricketer who transformed Indian cricket and he would need a lot of those leadership qualities to unite and overhaul the administration of this cricket crazy nation. While both Ranbir Kapoor and Alia Bhatt have consistently denied dating rumours, Ranbir's sister Kareena Kapoor Khan is looking forward to their wedding. At the Geo Mami movie Mela with Star on Sunday, Alia was in conversation with Karina and filmmaker Karan Johar and when Johar asked Alia if she ever imagined there would be a day she might be Karina's sister-in-law, Karina chimed in and said she'll be the happiest girl in the world. However, Alia trying hard to dodge the question said she never thought about it. Shah Rukh Khan, who's in Saudi Arabia to attend a film event titled The Joy Forum, was spotted joining Jackie Chan and Belgian actor Jean-Claude Van Damme for a special forum. The pictures also featured Aquaman star Jason Momoa.
The Mira Hochongba was celebrated in Imphal on the 13th of October. The festival portrays oneness and brotherhood among different ethnic communities in Manipur and was celebrated with great enthusiasm at the iconic Kangla Fort. In the morning, a colourful procession was carried out at the Royal Palace. Different ethnic communities came together, cultural dance performances took place and gifts such as vegetables and fabrics were exchanged. A public fridge has been installed in Dehradun city market. The fridge, called Akshay Patra, runs on the concept of give and take. People can donate excess food, which can be used by the needy. The fridge has been set up by the Vikalp Samiti, who has appointed a person to note down the names of donors. The members who set it up also bring fresh water daily, so the people can quench their thirst. <laughs> 